We're going to turn now to Capitol Hill, where we are getting a first look at some of the compelling testimony that's been behind closed doors in the impeachment inquiry. Nancy Cordes spent the day poring over the transcripts like some of the rest of us, and tonight has the Cliff's Notes urgent for us. Nancy, some fascinating details. Uh, they really are, Nora. One 300-page transcript documents a U.S. ambassador's growing dread as the president's allies circulated false stories about her. At one point, a colleague, Gordon Sondland, even urged her to try to save her job by tweeting her support for the president. Marie Ivanovich told congressional investigators she was warned by Ukrainian officials last winter to watch her back because the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was planning to do things, including to her. She got fired finally, but she was blocking it. Giuliani would go on to publicly smear Yovanovitch as he worked to convince Ukraine to investigate President Trump's campaign rival, Joe Biden. House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff. And she was working with Ukraine to get Ukraine to fight corruption. And so what does this irregular back channel sanctioned by the president do? It seeks to remove someone fighting corruption in Ukraine. Once she was removed, Yovanovitch said she was shocked to read that the president himself described her as bad news in a phone call with his Ukrainian counterpart, warning she would go through some things. Yovanovitch was asked, did you feel threatened? Yes. I was wondering, is there an active investigation against me in the FBI? I don't know. The president of Ukraine was not a fan of hers either. President Trump defended his call today. Republicans struggled to do the same. Was it appropriate for him to say that she was going to go through some things? I, I, I'm not, I don't know what, what, that, uh, what that even you know, necessarily is, is in reference to. The House also released the testimony of diplomatic veteran Michael McKinley. It was extremely clear to everyone, McKinley said, that State Department officials were being used in a way that certainly didn't fit into any past example we can think of. A lawmaker asked, because they're being used to dig up political dirt on an opponent? He responded, that's correct. McKinley said he urged Secretary Pompeo several times to put out a statement supporting Yovanovitch. I never heard him say a single thing. About his Pompeo has disputed that. Not, not once, not once, George, did Ambassador McKinley say something to me during that entire time period. Four White House officials were subpoenaed to appear for depositions today, and all four were no-shows. Democrats said it's just more fodder for a likely article of impeachment centered around obstruction of justice. Nora. Nancy, thank you.